One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Looked like Hemrick had a pretty good run on the one car. Might have an opportunity down here as he drafts up on the back end. Here he's, here he's going to go to the inside of the braking zone. It's turn one. A net down in there deep as well. And that's not going to give it to him. It'll be a battle. Hemrick sideways. Given everything he's got. Down into turn three. Hemrick's right there, nose to nose. He's going to take the position. And that's smart to back up and let him have it. He just has more pace than the one car. So many top fives already this year for Daniel Hemrick. Currently up into the second spot now. Still seeing a little tire smoke out of that 18 car leading the race in second. We've seen it. Pocono, race ain't over till to get to the checkered flag. Right now, the advantage, three and a half seconds for Kyle Busch in that 54. His last race out was a win in the Xfinity Series, making it 100 wins for Kyle Busch. He made the statement earlier in his career that when he got to 100, he'd retire. Well, he already had five races ske scheduled for this year, and he just happened to get to 100 in his third race. This is the fourth race of the year. He's won all three up to this point, looking to make it a perfect four for four. If Kyle Busch doesn't want to race at Xfinity next year anymore, that's his decision. But I hope he does. He's good for this series. I like what he brings to this series. Completely his choice, but I think he's a huge addition. Makes these drivers better. Without a doubt, the talent is there for Kyle Busch in the Xfinity series. This will be 101 wins. Next closest, over 50 wins behind him. It's already been a dominant career for Kyle Busch in the Xfinity Series. Grab he has two Cup Series championships as well. But a big win here at Road America for Kyle Busch. Daniel Hemrick, another second place finish.